Hello everybody, I am on my way as you can see by my fantastic rocket ship here, uh, flying through space. First we gotta test out the audio before we land and get started, so that is what we're doing right now. Let me know if I sound weird or too loud or, uh, or you just hate the sound of my voice, let me know. And I will change everything about myself for you. <laughs> I'll be on in just a sec. Alrighty, three, a two, a three, two, one. I did it, I did it. Hello everybody, welcome to the live stream. Um, hello everybody in the chat that is there. Hello, I see you. Um, today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, so we just launched a club crochet challenge. Uh, well, I guess we launched it like a week ago, but it's going on for another week um, until I think next Friday is your last day to submit. The challenge is to crochet your own spaceship. So you can make a rocket or a UFO. Um, you're able to use it, uh, use my base designs as part of your inspiration or as like what you want to start with and then you can add things to it or you can totally change it. Um, whatever you want to do and you can submit your uh, your image of what kind of rocket you want to make uh, and we will choose the top four and then the community will choose their favorite and then that one will be turned into a pattern in the Club Crochet Library and the winner will get some money as well. So I thought what would be kind of fun today is to participate in the challenge. Now my my participation won't be able to be chosen out of the four winners, uh, but I thought this would be a good way to show you kind of how it works and just to make a rocket together, I thought it would be kind of fun to just make a spaceship together. So you can learn everything about it as well as find the patterns for both this UFO and this rocket ship. The patterns are still for free, they won't be free forever. Um, but they are free for this challenge. So if you would like to find the patterns for these and learn more about this Club Crochet Challenge, you can find them at clubcrochet.com challenge. 
Um, you can also find the patterns individually at clubcrochet.com slash rocket and slash UFO for the UFO. Um, but yeah, that's the dealio today. Now, before we get started on the rocket, uh, on our rocket, I want, uh, I need your guys' opinion. So I chose, I drew four little rockets last night, and I need you guys to choose, help me choose which one uh, we want to do for today. We want to crochet. So, um... Here are the choices on screen. Now, one second. I tried setting up something special today for a poll. So let me get the poll started first. So if I press this, will it work? I wonder. Hold on. Hold on. I like this song. Okay, the poll is open, apparently. Ah! Yes, okay, great, it went into the chat. Oh, it's working. Okay, here's the poll. All right, so vote on which rocket you want me to crochet. Um, and uh, yeah, you can vote by just commenting in the chat right now. You can say just vote with an exclamation point and then the number. So one is the top left corner, two is top right, three is top bottom left, and four is bottom right. So all you gotta do is comment in the chat with vote, exclamation point, and then the number. Uh, and while you guys are voting, you guys take your time, no rush. Uh, we're gonna still need to choose colors and everything. Um, but while you're doing about while you're doing that, let's talk about how you can support this channel if you're interested in supporting. Um, if you would like to support, yeah, do what Melbell said. Yeah, there you go. I think it's one vote per person. Um, you can't just put the number. You have to put, uh, uh, vote with, then, vote, then an exclamation point, and then the number. Yeah, kind of like how Amy Groomy Boy just did it in the chat. Let me make sure those votes are going through. Some are being counted. Yes, okay, it's counting some of them. I think you might need to do it all lowercase. So far, it has registered some threes and a one. So whoever's done threes and ones, it looks like those ones have worked the best. I don't know yet just exactly how it's gonna work. We're going to keep an eye on this. This is my first time using this poll thing, so I might just have to end up counting them a little bit later. For some reason, it's not counting any fours, which is weird because I see fours in the chat. But anyhow, in the meantime, while that's happening, if you would like to help support this channel and you like what's going on here and you think I'm a pretty cool dude, you can in a couple of different ways. The first way and easiest, cheapest, freest way is to like and subscribe. If you haven't liked this video yet, please like it down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. We do live streams just like this all the time. I have new patterns that come out all the time. Um, this week, this rocket ship pattern came out live on the library or in the YouTube channel, so you can check it out there. If you want to help support even more so, the best way to support is with the Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the full library of patterns. For example, this UFO pattern is actually a Club Crochet membership exclusive, except for this week because of the challenge. But normally, this is only available with a Club Crochet membership. And there are hundreds of patterns on the library uh, that are only available with membership. Members also get uh, act, uh, they get uh, kits mailed to the door each month with all the materials that they need to make whatever we want to make that month. Um, this month we're going to be doing a uh, a relic, which is kind of kind of looks like a tiki mask a little bit. This is the relic. Um, it's for stitched my tabletop game that you crochet from home, but it's also just kind of cool. You could uh, you can put little needles in all of the corners here. That's what I like to do. I like to have it on my desk with needles in it. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing this. If you would like to sign up for a pro membership and get all the materials that you need, you can before the end of this month. So this is the last week to sign up for a pro membership if you're interested. Um, and then the last way to support if you are interested is uh, with a donation. So if you would like to, you can donate by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip, and you can tip me. And if you do so, your name will, something will pop up right around here and say like, this person tipped, and we'll all go, yay, you rock. 
and then we'll put a little crochet thing out for you on the screen and it'll be joining us on this live stream throughout the entire stream. So that is the dealio. Okay, yeah, this vote thing isn't working the way I want it to because I know there's been more votes for four. But only... Oh, okay, Melbell says that you need to put exclamation point and then say vote and then the number. Which, I don't know if that's true or not because a lot of people have been saying... I might just count it. I might just count because it's not it's not populating the way I want it to. It's only like registering a few of them. So let me why don't I count myself and we'll see how it goes. Okay. This is going to be hard to do, but I will try. Okay, so we got a 1 2 3s, 3 3s, 4 3s. Oopsies. Two ones, one four. Five. Looks like three is is winning or four. One two three four five four seven eight nine. Ooh, okay, so it's definitely between. Oh, it's definitely between four and three. Let's see which one's three and which one's four. You know what? I knew it was going to be between those two also. Um, I think we just got a donation. Oh, Cooper! Thank you so much for your donation, dude! Um, Cooperlicious just donates for $5. Thank you! We're going to put a little... Let's put this... Let's put this dude out here for you. He's going to be joining our stream, which is perfect because he is a an alien. Let me... I'm trying to find something to prop him up with. We could use one of these. So this is a forest hibagon. He is from an alien planet uh, called Lenonia. And he's going to be joining our stream. And he is um, sponsored by, that's what I'm going to say. He's sponsored by Cooperlicious. He's going to be sitting right here the whole time. If Cooper, if you have a suggestion on what you would like to name your uh, donated fella here, please. Let me know. Okay, so yeah, she is right. It is exclamation point and then vote. So let me just get rid of this stuff. Oh, Cooper just, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me fix this real quick for future sake. There we go. Okay. So I fixed it, but it's it might be just a little too late for everybody. Uh, I'm pretty certain, yeah, four or three are going to win it. Um, okay, so, well, with that information in mind, we can choose colors. So we're going to need a main base color, which is going to be for the main body of the rocket. And I'm kind of thinking either... Lavender or maybe a like a turquoise, which are my favorite colors for like look, even my crochet hooks that like a purple and a green. These are my favorite colors in general. So I like them. Which one let's see. This one would be good for I mean this one would be good for both, I think, but lavender would be kind of fun too. And then we're gonna need a secondary color. I think this dark purple works with either of those. This is going to be for like the fins and maybe like the lines. See how they each got little lines there. Uh, we also got like pink some. Um, let's see, we got a black. Oh, oh, we should try using this too. This is glow in the dark yarn actually. So this would be kind of cool for windows and stuff. And then we got black yarn for just some details. It looks like we might need some gray yarn. 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 <laughs> Said that weird. Let me grab some gray yarn. Oh, here's some gray. That's some gray. Okay, so we got gray yarn. That can be used for our little, like, thruster rocket, or rocket thing. Okay, we got some people... A lot of people think lavender would be fun. Great, cool. Let's do lavender. 
So we'll do lavender as our main color. And I'm pretty sure we're making either three or four. I think either one of those would be great with lavender. Um, I was, it looked like, let me go through the chat one more time real quick to make sure. It looks like, oh man, it is a toss up though. Well, if it's a toss up, then I don't know. Let's do, I personally really like three. I think three is really cool. Um, I think four is awesome too. I asked Jules before this and she said, I bet you're going to choose three, huh? I would choose four. So that's funny that it ended up being like that kind of in the chat too. Um, I think I like this gray more than this gray for like rocket thrusters. Uh, we might want some, oh, well, we can use this gray for the outline of the windows as well. And then maybe we want more vibrant color for the wings. It's more contrasty. Yellow maybe, ooh, that's, that, that might be a lot. Let's do, how's red, ooh, ooh, ooh. nope, I don't like that one. Ooh, what about this one? Hmm. I'm trying to imagine, you know, I'm trying to imagine the body of it is this color. And then the wings and stuff would be the secondary color, which would be purple. Or or we have dark blue. Let's try dark blue. Oh, I don't like that dark blue with the lavender. Let's do lavender for the body. We'll do the dark purple. Some people are saying gay... Uh, uh, gold yes they do make glow in the dark yarn we're actually going to be having this in the cloak crochet library soon for sale so keep an eye out for that it might not be for a little bit but it will be coming eventually castellarian loves the bright blue yeah the bright blue might be good for the a body of one too maybe we could finish two of these rockets today maybe we could do three and four i don't know i don't know but you know what? Regardless, it has been freaking 18 minutes already. Wow, I have, let's get, let's get crocheting. Let's get crocheting already. And we're gonna start, let's see, wait. Let's look at the corner image again. Let's get rid of that and that. And we'll just look at the corner image. So if we're gonna be doing three or four, we'll lock the focus there. If we're doing three, which I think three is gonna win it. I'll go ahead and close this poll right now. Yeah, three, one in, in the poll. So great. So if we're gonna do three, I think we're going to start with, um, let's start with this purple and start by making some uh, wings, some of the fins. So I'll be using the base pattern for the rocket ship first. Um, let me turn this, well, oh, that's okay, that's okay. Let me know if the sound is, is frustrating for everybody as well. Um, if it's like too, if I'm going too loud or anything like that, really any feedback whatsoever is definitely helpful. Emily, thank you so much for your support. Emily just donated. Thank you. We're gonna put out a little crochet thing for Emily. Let's do, oh, let's do, how about this? Now this pattern's not out yet. I don't know when it will be out. It will be out eventually, but not for right now. But we have a little miniature dragon. It's like a baby dragon that I made. Um, this is just like a rough draft. Uh, I don't even have it in the rough draft yet. But you know what? It's coming out today for Emily. Thank you so much for your support, Emily. We'll go ahead and put your little dragon over here. Queen of dragons, mother of dragons. <laughs> All right, so we'll put this to the side. Let's get some of these things to the side. I think, yeah, I think using the rocket ship as a base pattern is a good idea, and then we'll just alter it slightly. So I'll start by making the fins. And I think what I'm gonna do, because the fins in the picture are a little bit different, you know what, let me zoom this picture in a little bit. I got started there, but let me let me get this picture like zoomed in or cropped. Can I crop it? 
How do I crop the image? Transform. Edit transform. Yes. Okay, so we're going to crop it by... Oh, okay. 900. Aha! Look at that. That was pretty good. Let's do... Then from the top, let's crop out... Wow, this is a very epic song, huh? Perfect. All right, we'll keep that on screen, at least for the time being, just for us to get an idea of what we're making. So we're working on uh, the fins first for this, right? Yes, I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Hello, hello everyone. I say hello because Yuna just said hello in the chat. Hello. A cracked egg next to the bed. That would be cute. Or if they were in a cracked egg, that would be really cute too, I think. So I'm going to start the fins just how the rocket ship pattern has the fins started. and But I want it to be kind of longer. See, so they kind of go like, like more out and a little bit. So we're going to have to do some alterations to the rocket ship fins. I'm going to start by making it a little bit uh, skinnier at the very end so it has more of a, of a point to it so let's start with that and then once we have a general uh, design for the fin I think it will be a lot easier to go from there because I can just replicate it and that'll be nice and that'll be nice and easy Hello, Heather. Welcome to the chat. First time catching live. Well, welcome to the live stream. My face is out of frame. Oh, I'm, I'm hunkering down, aren't I? Okay, here. How about I do this? Do a little bit of fixing. There we go. There we go. Oh, let, and we'll move the dragon so that they're in screen the whole time. Emily's dragon. There we go. Okay. So back to it. If you're just joining live, we are making a rocket ship. We're designing a rocket ship together right now um, as part of our Club Crochet Challenge. You can join the challenge if you want, if you'd like to design your own rocket ship. Um, and you can learn more at clubcrochet.com slash rocket. Okay. One... There's been a couple of submissions so far, and they've been really cool. There's one that looks like a um, a Christmas tree, and I was like, whoa, a Christmas tree. There's a couple, I think there's a Sunday, something like that. What, okay, Cold-Blooded Adventures needs to know in the chat what color duck they should do, an orange, or they already have a green and an orange one. I mean, we're doing purple. Let's crochet purple duck. Oh, look at that. Theana just, like, echoed me. That was crazy. You are... We, we have the same brain, Theana. Okay, so we got it started on a little... See how it's going to be skinnier? Here's our other rocket. You can kind of see. I'm Because I'm trying to go like this. I'm, trying to, I'm using this pattern sort of as a base, and then I'm kind of, like, trying to make it go down and out more. Something like that. We'll see how it goes. How am I today? I'm doing all right, you know? I stayed up a little too late trying to set up that poll that I couldn't figure out and that I didn't even start right. But I am doing all right. How are you today? How is everybody today? Anybody else crocheting along with me? Anybody else making a rocket ship or a spaceship? Let me know. I'm watching. Okay. Okay, so we got like a little bit of a thinner fin. Hope, hope this works out. You know, I'm kind of like going on a whim today and we're kind of just experimenting and designing together. So there's a chance that we could make something really silly or bad, but 
You know, there's always a chance for that. There's always a chance for that. Rebecca's making a rocket ship also. Cool. Very cool. Deanna is going to have to design one or three. By the way, if you would like to um, submit the picture of your rocket ship, um, you can do so either on the Discord channel or the Reddit. Uh, we have a subreddit and a Discord channel. You can find links to both of those in the description. There's a... Oh! Dude, Tina, thank you! Tina just donated. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me get done with this row. And then I will fully appreciate your donation, Tina. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, if you would like to submit a picture of your rocket, you can do so on the subreddit or the Discord channel. There's links to both of them. And that's all you really need to do is submit a picture and then maybe a name for whatever you want to call your rocket. I'm really excited to see what people come up with. Okay, so you see? See, it's getting like a little bit skinnier. I'm like, I'm trying to increasing it, increase it up a little bit slower so that it's, it's longer because I want the fin to be about like maybe that long. Increase up a little bit more. Put that to the side right there and donation from Tina. Okay, Tina, what do we got here? Let's see, we can do... Hope they're saying, hope you're having a good time with Jack Gurgle and Jules. We're having a great time. We're having a great time. Jack, you want to say thanks real quick? Here, this is for you, Tina. Thank you, Tina. He has a cold right now. You can hear it by his nose. He was out partying in in the mud baths with uh, his buds, and he just caught it. He caught a little cold. Uh, let's put out for Tina. How about an octopus? How about, how about an octopus with a hat on? How about an octopus with a sailor's hat on? That's wonderful. We're going to put this out here for you, Tina. Thank you for your donation. Look at that. We got, we're sticking with our purple green theme too. It's perfect. It's perfect even. It's perfect, even. It is very Muppety, isn't it, Theana? Very Muppet looking like. Looking like a Muppet. Zoe's making some cool skull earrings. That's awesome, Zoe. What are you, are you designing the pattern yourself or are you using someone else's pattern? Um, there's another artist, a crochet artist called, that is named uh, Steffi Glaives, who I'm a big fan of. Uh, we met up in London once, and she is she has this really cool pattern for little crocheted skulls um, and just miniature earrings patterns in general that are really cool. If you haven't checked out Steffi Glaives yet, check her out. She is a very talented miniature Amy or miniature crochet applique designer. Um, she usually doesn't do Amy Gurumi, but it's very cool. Okay. See, so it's gonna. I'm, I'm hoping to get it out just a little bit more, like to right, like that, to kind of be the rocket. See, because it's kind of working there. We might need to increase even more, though. I don't know. Let's just let's just keep going. I think if we can get to eight or nine stitches around for the fin, we'll be good. But you can kind of see how this is basically the same-ish design as the last rocket ship fin. Well, I mean, it's close. It's a little close. Whoa. Zoe is basing off. They're basing it, their skull off of a pattern by Anna Boos House. I've never heard of Anna Boos House, but very cool. Very cool. Good luck. That sounds like some, those are going to be some pretty dope earrings. <laughs> I always wanted to get my ears pierced. I actually really wanted to get gauges when I was in high school. 
I'm kind of, I'm glad I didn't because my earlobes are so tiny. Like, look at these. You couldn't fit a gauge in there. I got, I got little, like, dinky little earlobes. But I did always want, I did always want gauges. How do I keep track of the row without a stitch marker? That's a good question. Um, right now, I'm keeping track of the row without a stitch marker because I know that the row ends two stitches after the increase. Um, and I can just follow it down. So let me show you, actually. I will show you, Theana. So I keep getting to this increase here. And I'm putting the increase in the same spot in each round. So that, so that if you look at it from the top there, like, I'll straighten it out right now. But if you look at it from the top, you'll see that it should be staying straight on one side and increasing out on the other. That's what I'm kind of going for because then I can easily like bend the bottom of it like that. I might even be able to put a pipe cleaner in it to make it real safe. And the increase or the increase, the, the end of the round is two stitches after the increase every single round because that's where I started it at. So once I find the increase, which is right here, I just do two stitches afterwards and I know that that's the end of the round. That's how I'm keeping track of my rounds right now. Um, but yeah, I have different techniques like that, usually. Have I ever crocheted clothing? Uh, Wolf, XXX Wolf said, do you ever crochet clothing? They just made a bucket hat. I have crocheted, uh, I used to crochet a bunch of hats. Like, that was my thing um, before I got really, really into amigurumi. Um, that was in high school. So I used to make a bunch of different kinds of hats. A lot of children's, like, baby hats and stuff, too. Uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, I used to be pretty into I never made anything, like, too big. I never made a sweater or anything. But um, I have made some clothing. I think this is pretty good. Okay, let's look at the picture again. I mean, it's not perfect. It's gonna probably be out a little bit further. Oh, especially cause it's got that, cause, cause the end's gonna be like that. So it's gonna be sticking out a little bit more. Maybe we can try, let me go back a round or two and we'll try doing something a little bit different for the increases so that it increases a bit more. Maybe gives us more stitches on the top and less on the bottom so that it straightens out the bottom of it. A little bit better. Let's try that. Let's try right here. We'll do one and two. Rebecca asks, "Do I try using a 0.4 millimeter hook for this rocket with a broken hand, or should I? Should I? I would say don't do that. That seems like a very dangerous idea, and uh, you're gonna hurt yourself." I think you should play it cool. Okay, did that extra increase help? Let's find out. Because then we're going to go boop, boop. I want like that. Maybe if we do slip, you know what? I got a better idea. Wait. If I do slip stitches on the bottom and increases on the top, then the bottom will stay where it is and the increases will go like that, right? So it'll make ours bend out a little bit better. Okay, so let's go back actually even in one more round. Yeah, right to here. So we did the two, two. And that's there. Yeah, okay, so we'll do like two rounds of slip stitches instead here. Let's see if that let's see if that changes anything. We're playing it by ear here. We're designing it on a whim. I'm not sure if I'll come out with this pattern or not. We'll see if it, if, if you know, if it is really cool, I will. But otherwise, I might not. But we will see. This is definitely a space song right here. Kind of crazy. It's actually a little loud, huh? Um, Miriam says, what about making them flat instead of a cone base? We definitely might do that. Uh... The reason I want it to be a cone is because it just adds a little bit of thickness to the pattern, to the fin, which I think would be kind of nice. But yeah, we we might we might switch it up. 
But see, that's pulling in, and then that should be coming out like that. That's what we're aiming for. We'll try, we'll try a few more rounds of this, and we will judge it off of that. Let's try three rounds of slip stitches after our two rounds. One, or three stitches of slip stitches instead. Two, three. Then we'll go back to our single crochets. Okay, we flatten it there. Let's see. Especially because the rocket's going to be straight like that. And then we'll have a curve at the bottom. We might do a pipe cleaner in it to make that curve really pronounced. It's gonna be like that. All right. Yeah, that's actually, that's pretty good. I, I think I like this. Bye Kai. Thanks for joining. It looks like a shark fin. It does kind of look like a shark fin. Cash, thank you so much. Cash is a fan of the squid pattern. Me too, dude. They are very cool. Okay, so let's try this for the rocket's fin. Okay, so the bottom's gonna go like be at an angle about where the top of this rocket is. So let's use that as like an example. And if we were to sew this on to right there, does that look? Yeah, I think that will work. I think this is going to work for our fins. Especially if we put a pipe cleaner in it. That'll help a lot. With the shaping of it. It does look like a shark fin. Totally. Totally. Turtly. Okay, cool. This is what we're going to use as our base for our fin. And then we will start to make... So let's go ahead and make a couple more of these fins maybe. Or should I come back to the fins? You know what? I should work on more fins while I have it fresh in my brain. So let's go ahead and make a couple more of these fins. While I have it. While I'm thinking about it. While I'm thinking about it. But I think this is good. This is a good. That's a good fin. That's a good. I like it. That's a good fin. That right there. That's a good fin. The creature next to the pterodactyl is a woggle? No. Well, actually, you're you're wrong on both accounts, Takayaki. This isn't even a pterodactyl. This is actually a little baby dragon. And this isn't a woggle, it is a, uh, 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 an antlered hibigon, which is a different kind of creature altogether. But it does look very woggle-esque. You can tell it's not a woggle because of its feet and its arms. So woggles don't have arms and their feet usually have three little toes on them. But this guy's just got kind of round toes. Boo uh, Boo asks, will I ever Will I do a dog or a seal pattern? Yeah, um, probably. Uh, dog might be a little bit later than a seal, but uh, because I, I actually have a, like a rough draft of a seal pattern written somewhere. Um, so yeah, and there's so many different dogs. I think I'll probably I would really like to do a pug, uh, because it's so close to the pig. <laughs> So I'd like to do a pug pattern probably and a seal would be really cool. I think I can do both of those. So yeah, I think that would be really neat. Okay, so I'm just gonna say what this, what these rounds are out loud. So if someone is watching this afterwards or watching right now and they wanna replicate this pattern um, or I need to come back and look at what my pattern is, it might be easier to do it this way. So I start with four single crochets in a magic circle. And then round that was round one. And then round two, I do a single crochet into each stitch around. So that's four single crochets total. Round three, 
I'm, again, I'm just saying this out loud so that it is in the air. Round three, I'm do one single crochet and then an increase and then two single crochets, which brings you up to five, I believe. It's one single crochet, increase. And again, this is for future Lou slash uh, if anybody wants to replicate this pattern or this fin pattern. If you want to use this fin pattern in your rocket ship, go for it. Absolutely go for it. And again, you could submit your rocket ship at um, on the subreddit or on the Discord channel. Um, you can find them in the links down below. Okay, so that was round five, I think. Let's see, round one, two, three. Oh, no, no. So we're on round four, I think. Round four, we got two single crochets increase, and then three single crochets increase. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, and then increase, and then we do slip stitches. Okay. So we got round one was four in a magic loop. Round two was single crochet each. Round three was single crochet one and then increase and then single crochets. Round four is gonna be two single crochets and then an increase. And then single crochets to the end. So there's one, two. And then an increase. And then two more single crochets to get to the end. Yuna, thanks for joining. Have a nice dinner. Enjoy the Olympics or whatever you want. Okay, Cash, thanks for joining also. Um, has anybody else been joining watching the Olympics? We watched skateboarding last night. It was awesome. I actually knew all the tricks. I was like, whoa, is that a tray flip? That's awesome. I've landed one 360 uh, tray flip, rather. 360 flip. Is that what they're called? I always call them tray flips. Okay, so... Round one, two, three, four. So we're on round five, and round five is going to be one, two, three single crochets, and then an increase. Four, five, and then two single crochets. And seven. Oh, Korea won archery for gold. That's awesome. We were going to watch archery, actually, last night. But then we were like, oh, skateboarding's on. I'm going to watch skateboarding. Um, okay, now round four, I think, was... Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, round six, I think, was four single crochets and then an increase. And then we started doing some fancy slip stitches after that. Tonight, I'm excited to watch, I'm really excited to watch, yeah, you can come say hi, come on. We're excited to watch ping pong and women's skateboarding tonight. Yeah, women's skateboarding, hello, hi. Jules is here, says Who's hello. Who's here, who's in the chat, what's happening? Well, let's see, we got coffee and crochets hi, coffee here. And crochet. I mean. Did I see Bobby? No, my dad is not here, oh, I don't think. I saw, did I see another Bobby? No, I see Boo Boo. Hi, Boo Boo. <laughs> hey, Boo Boo. Hey, Boo Boo. Uh, you been talking about the Olympics? Yeah, we've been talking about the Olympics, about what we're excited to watch. Yeah. I'm I, I really want gymnastics. Yeah, gymnastics I is always a winner. I think we missed some the other day. No spoilers, please. No spoilers. <laughs> no no gymnastics spoilers. Yeah. I used to be a gymnast, so it's that's my jam. And I remember watching the uh, gymnastics team, I want to say in like 2002 and that's what made me want to sign up for gymnastics uh in middle school and it was great oh hi everybody you wow. get a lot of hellos hello abby stranger danger addy T wow everybody wow everybody wow, wow, wow. hello everyone <laughs> takoyaki hello oh now i want takoyaki now, yeah now I want jules is a 
takoyaki fiend. I am. It's a problem. Big fan. <laughs> we don't have any any way of making it. Uh, we need special pans for that. Yeah. And I, I'm not a good cook An either, octopus. So. Yeah, we need all the ingredients, too. <laughs> That's important. I, I have no idea where and I would find octopus. some crazy chopstick skills. You Maybe need, in, yeah. like, Japantown or something. Yeah, that's the last place we got it that I really enjoyed it in Japantown. Um, hopefully that mall reopens soon. I'd love to go in there. Again. That would be very they cool. They have DDR in there, and I've been playing DDR during Oh, yeah, COVID. Jules has been really into DDR recently. I'm so much better than when I started. Uh, t- yeah, she's very good. <laughs> um, okay, real quick, uh, I just want to say my last round for people if you are crocheting the fin. Um, the last round was two slip stitches, three single crochets, an increase in two single crochets. And then for the last round, it's three slip stitches, three single crochets, an increase, and then two single crochets. And that's the last round. Then you I slip hope you stitch. wrote that down. I'm going to write it down probably. No, I was after. talking to them. I hope you wrote it down, people in the chat. Uh, Dina, we can't see your comments. I'm sorry if we missed them. They're go- they're flying by real quick, so sorry if we missed your past ones, but uh, we can read them. And judo would be cool. Aw, oh, thanks, cold-blooded I I adventure. I, Louise, elbows on the way. Thank oh, you. sorry. They said I'm so pretty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, I agree. Aw, oh, shucks. Hey, uh, quick poll. Uh, I want to dye my hair soon. I want to dye the tips of it and get a cut, but I, I, I've never dyed my hair before. Um, I'm going to go to a salon. What color should I dye my hair? Purple, blue, or pink? Those are the top choices. So if you have a strong My vote opinion, is pink, personally. He wants pink. I already look pink, so I think that's that is true. a problem. Uh, but he really wants pink. I'm leaning towards blue or purple, but I can't decide. But those are your choices. If you have strong opinions, voice them now. Voice them now, yeah. (laughs) They're going to be like, I hate purple hair. Purple's my favorite color. Blue is the color of my eyes. And I wear a lot of blue. Mm -hmm. I also wear some purple. I've been knitting a lot of pink stuff, too. That is true. You have been knitting a lot of pink stuff. Got one vote for pink, one vote for purple. We'll see if others voice it two. i'll stick around for one more minute then i'll slip stitch here okay we got two fins done let's two make sure fins that they done uh, already wow i mean it's we're going for 48 minutes oh but you talk a lot in the beginning i do talk a lot in the beginning <laughs> i well oh, it was whoa, a lot to explain okay we got purple purple pink purple party teal would be cool got one vote for blue teal would be purple. cool hello from denmark tina nice to see you in the chat another pink with some hearts Wow, yeah, purple and pink are up there for sure. Teal would be dope. Teal would be really dope. Teal would be cool. You'd be, yeah, I'd be careful about getting it too green though. I know, I don't want to go green. I think these are even. Let's see, I might have messed Blue up. Blue never holds well. Good point. Good point. Blue would be cool, but not dark. Right, yeah. See, yeah, blue doesn't hold well, but when it fades, it still looks pretty cool because you get the light blue. But same argument for purple. Something like that. You vote all of them. All three, blue, purple, and pink together would be really cool. And then cool. maybe put a thing in there so it'll be more curved. Mm. That. Because we're going like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good shape. Yeah. It's not perfectly oh, wait, exact. Which rocket are you making? We're doing three. That's what. It I was. Knew it. it was between three and four. I just knew like it. you said it was going to be. I knew it. Just like four you said. Four was my favorite, and also yeah. one I thought was cool. Uh, but a little top heavy, so I was a little worried about that. Yeah, I liked one. I liked the the like how big one was. Like I like yeah. how the top went. Yeah, it looked um, like futuristic and yeah. more sci-fi. Sci-fi. Blue goes green after a while. Okay, it sounds like purple or pink are the winners. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know my votes, but I think. I, I also agree with that. I think purple I or pink both? would be good. What if what if I did uh, like pink and purple streaks? That'd be crazy. That would be that. That might be a lot. I think I'm gonna go purple. Especially if you're not gonna keep it for a crazy long time. I'm not. Yeah. So if it doesn't work out, or if it starts fading really quickly, I'll just cut my hair again. I. Zoe has all three. Oh, cool! That is so cool. I saw this one girl had rainbow hair. That oh my god! Looked amazing. That sounds some, like something that's going to be, like, it's really cool, but... It looked so cool. It would be so hard to maintain it. that Like, you yeah. would have it for a week, and then you'd be like... Yeah, a week or two. 
Yeah, and that's a lot of money and yeah. a time. When I was a kid, I wanted to get a tattoo on my foot. On the bottom of my foot, I wanted to get a squashed bug. And I went and I met the tattoo artist, and the tattoo artist was like, this is a really, really bad idea. And I was like, <laughs> why? I'm like, you're going to have it for like a month, and then it's going to be gone. You walk on your feet. Yeah. I was like... Oh, yeah. And he's like, also, it's going to hurt really, yeah. really bad. And it's I was like, like okay, hurt. I don't want a tattoo anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I do, but you do. I'm not going to get that as a tattoo. No. Yeah, okay, so uh, someone dyed their hair purple many times. It fades really nice. Doesn't turn a weird tone. Good to know. Okay, it does, good. I hear it does, it does fade pretty quickly, but it's nice to know that, at least for your hair, it fades nicely. Yeah, I've... I have naturally blonde hair. I've never dyed it before. So we'll see how the dye takes to it. They won't need to bleach it. Yeah. Sometimes you have naturally, like, white hair. <laughs> yeah. If so, I've been spending a lot of time outside. Yeah. It which becomes, I haven't. like, platinum. <laughs> I have not been spending too much time outside recently for obvious reasons. Yeah. Well, right now, it hasn't been very sunny here in San Francisco. No. It's not very outdoor weather. No. It's been foggy. Yeah. But you can still get a sunburn out there. So wear your sunscreen. Sure. All right, I'll leave you to it. Have fun okay. with your rocket time. Thank you. Thank you for voting, everyone. Yeah. Blue is off the table now, so thank you for helping me narrow it down. You can come back in a little bit and see where our progress is. Yeah, I'm gonna go watch some Olympics. Okay. Yeah. What are you gonna? What Olympics are you gonna watch? I don't know. She doesn't know. All right. Well, have fun. Hello, Crafty Chats Cafe. You're late, but you're here. Well, hello. Welcome. If you are, by the way, if you're just joining uh, and you're curious of what the heck are we doing, today we are crocheting, we're designing a rocket ship. So I gave a suggestion between four rocket ships that we could crochet today, and the choice was for number three, which you can see right here. So we're designing a rocket ship based on that one, uh, and the idea here is it is a um, what could be used as a submission for the rocket ship uh, crochet challenge so you can find out everything about that at clubcrochet.com slash challenge basically you crochet a spaceship you submit it and we choose our four favorites and then the community chooses their one favorite and the winner will get a uh, they will get a little paycheck which would be nice and they'll get a uh, to get their pattern in the club crochet library they work with me to turn their pattern into reality and we'll add it to the library. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take for us to get that pattern to the library, so, you know, bear with me. But I just thought it would be a fun little challenge, maybe something that we do more often in the future. It's a test run, but a fun test run regardless. So if you want to design your own rocket ship and uh, you're curious of, of how to do so or, like, what are the parameters there, you're watching the video. It's kind of like this, like however, you basically use the rocket ship as a base pattern. You can edit it, you can alter it if you want, um, or use the UFO as a base pattern and then go from there. Okay, so I don't know what round I'm on. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're on our last round of just normal before we get into slip stitches. Uh, cold blooded adventures. <laughs> Why did you say milk all caps? That was weird. <laughs> Gonna get some milk. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> That's what I. I love milk. Cold blooded adventures. Do lizards like milk? Probably not, right? <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, okay. Make a pattern for a frog in the future. Yeah, definitely. I actually have gotten a shocking amount of suggestions to make a frog uh, pattern. So, yeah, I definitely can work on a frog pattern. Okay, so now we're on to our slip stitches part of the pattern. No, I can make certain of that first. Yeah, we are. Cool. I like milk with Oreos or with cereal. I don't like milk by itself. I'm not crazy. 
Just kidding, you're not crazy. Herbert! How you doing? Welcome! Herbert, is your picture a cat with a mask on? Can't tell. Ah, you lo Deanna lives in Wisconsin. You gotta love Darien, Wisconsin. I think I'm pretty sure you go to jail if you don't like Darien, Wisconsin. It's like a, it's a legal, it's a legal matter. Addie is making Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. Oh, I love that movie. It's a great one. Not my favorite of the um, Studio Ghibli movies, but definitely a very good one. My favorite is probably Spirited Away. I love Spirited Away. Um, we watched Princess Mononoke for the first time like a, like a month ago, and that one was pretty good. Not my favorite. It got a little gross, but it was pretty good. Kiki's Delivery Service is just a classic. I like how simple Kiki's Delivery Service is. It's not like grand and and world-ending adventure. It's just kind of like Kiki, and I like that. Totally, yeah, Deanna. It's a legal. It's a, it's legality. You gotta like cheese. You gotta like dairy in general. There's no such thing as being lactose intolerant in, in Wisconsin. If you if you are, you just push past it. All right, so I think we've got our fins done. Let's see how. Let's see what we think about these. I hope we like them because I don't want to redo them if I don't have to. So I'm just gonna give them a little tweaking and a little bending. And we'll fold it on that increase. Should be like right there. And we'll see how that goes. I might need to sew them flat, but I think we're all right. So we got one, two, three, and they'll go on the sides like this. Cool, cool, cool. So we got our fins done. That's a good start. Next up, let's do um, the rocket itself. So it looks like we're gonna start with purple and then we'll move on to our light purple. So we're gonna start making the body of the rocket right there. Ooh, we got some Smash Brothers music. Awesome. I remember this video so well. This is from Super Smash Brothers Melee. It was a great game. Gosh, I, I love that game. Kids, yes, right? It's a little creepy. It's a little gross and creepy. Princess Mononoke. All right, so we're going to be working off of the base pattern for the rocket to start with. Um, except we want it to be a little bit more pointy. So I'm going to do, instead of starting with six single crochets, let's start with four single crochets. So that's a little bit smaller. And then we will evenly increase up to six, which should give us more of a point. Because that's what we kind of want. We want it to be more of like... I'm gonna do four single crochets to start, and then we'll switch over to doing. You know what? Actually, no. We'll do we'll do one more round before we before we do that. I was gonna change colors now, but we'll do one more round of this. I'm gonna do a single crochet in the first, and then an increase in the next, and repeat that once to go from four to six stitches around which should hopefully give us more of a point to the tip of our rocket, which is what we want. We want a slower increase up. Okay, let's see how that goes. If we bend that in. Yeah, there we go. So see, we got more of a tip there. And we just want to slowly increase up. So we get to a certain point and then we'll start to just like make it go straight down. So we'll go to, that was six. So let's, um, you know, let's do color changes now. We'll do half color changes because we want the tip of our rocket. Looks like the tip of our rocket, we only want it to be very small, right? So we want to do change over to our lavender color now. Okay, this lavender yarn, uh, this is the last of the lavender yarn that I have here, 
and it is very um it it's like scented it smells like actually lavender uh it's a little strong i kind of like it though <laughs> but i have had this lavender yarn honestly since i started crocheting i think like this is one of the first yarns that i bought and i'm just finally running out it was a giant like five pound ball of yarn of lavender yarn and i used it very sparingly because it's it was so scented we're coming to the end of the ball like look at there's not very much left Okay, so I'm again I'm just increasing up subtly. So this time we had six stitches in the last round. We're gonna go up from six to nine stitches. I'm doing uh for round three, I'm doing one, two, two single crochets and then an increase and repeating that two times total. Again, if you're if you would like to crochet this rocket of well i'm just kind of giving you my details uh i'm not going into really a lot of detail but two single crochets then increase repeated twice to go from six stitches to eight stitches and we are on round three. Oh, also this round we're doing half color changes so the top of our stitches are purple or are, are, are light purple and the bottom are dark purple which should give us a pretty solid line between rounds which is what we're looking for okay now we're switching back all the way over to full lavender Let's see how it's yeah okay and we're gonna go all the way out to about I because I think it's gonna be a little bit taller right so we want it to be about like that big if this is gonna be the where the bottom is yeah it's gonna be good Yes, I don't know where to get it. I think maybe it was Bernat yarn originally, Theana. Um, I'm not totally sure. But it is cool. It is cool yarn. Okay. So I don't think we need dark purple until we get back, until we do a couple more rounds. Because we'll do, we'll do a little, see, because we got a little line about halfway between where the thin saw I got kind of quiet there. Okay. So now we're on to round one, two, three. We're on round four. I'm doing... I'm still... I'm increasing up in the exact same way as the rounds prior. So, like last round I did two single crochets, then an increase. This round I'm doing three single crochets, then an increase. And I think I'm going to keep doing that kind of pattern uh for a little while because it's a nice way to slowly increase my rounds up it will make my rocket a little bit more flat but i think that's that's something we can work around if we just use stuffing to fix things uh oh we got a knot in our yarn for some reason fix that well also we should come up with a name for this so start thinking of names now actually hey coffee and crochet or melbell if you are still in the chat um they are our moderators can you create a form or a google sheet uh just one of you two it doesn't matter who does it uh that will that we can use for submissions for names for this rocket that would be kind of cool Yes, Sunshine, uh, can you just use the pattern you have on the club crochet in the challenge? Absolutely, you can use whatever kind of pattern you want. Um, the basic idea here, Sunshine, is that you use you can use this rocket pattern or this UFO pattern as the, um, the, the start of your design. So either you can use them as inspiration or you can use them exactly and just add things on them or change the colors. Um, whatever you want to do, really. These are just basically use these as like a starting point for your design um, or use them as the solid base. So it's like 
I'm crocheting this rocket, but instead of doing one window here, I'm doing like five windows and a little, uh, you know, lot different color changes for lines or whatever. You can do whatever you want to make it your own. But good question. You don't have to make exactly what I'm doing. You, There's a lot of freedom in the creativity for this. So you can do uh, whatever you want for create for creative freedom for your own rocket ship. So I'm starting to think that maybe we're increasing a little bit too quickly, right? Because if this, if we're going out, it's consistently going at this rate, then we're gonna have it be like that big in no time. So I think we need to slow it down. So I'm not gonna be doing increases in this round. Instead, I'll just do single crochets in this round. Um, this would be round one, two, three, four, five. So round five, I'm just doing single crochets in it. And again, I'm just saying these um, these things because I want reference for later when I try to write this pattern down or uh, if someone wants to replicate this, they can. So that's one round of single crochets. And then I think I can go back to doing increases now. So we'll start to um, spread out the increases. We'll do one round of increases, one round of single crochets for a little bit and see how that goes. Actually, I think our next round probably wants to be our stripe line. I'll show you, I'll show you my idea for that in a second as well. Okay, let's count our stitches now too. So this last round I did one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. And then an increase, six, seven. And one, two, three, four. Oh, oh, I'm off. Why am I off? How did I get off? I'm off count. Okay, wait, hold on. Hold the phone. I think we have an odd number of stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. Yeah. Oh wait, no wait. That would be twelve. Six. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. No, no. I actually did have it right. I just counted it wrong. So it's four single crochets, then an increase for this round. Cool. Okay. Okay. So yeah, good. We're going. We're we're. We're doing pretty good, actually. I think I like it so far. So this next round, I think we're gonna wanna put our stripe about here. Maybe it's a little soon. What do we think? Because if it's gonna be about that big, then yeah, we'll do one more round and then we'll do our place for our stripe. Cool, thank you very much, Melville. I will let you know when we are ready for that Google form for at for doing the name for this rocket. I think we need to get a little bit further, but uh, yeah, I will let you know. Okay, so now I'm just doing single crochets for a round, just like I was saying, we're alternating between increases and single crochet rounds. Good round, just single crochets, nice and quick, okay. Now I think we could do our little stripe line. So here's how I'm thinking I'm going to do this. First off, we're going to cut this middle thing because it's annoying me. Then we'll grab some purple yarn. I'll go like this. Okay, let's try this out. Here's my plan. We're gonna crochet around it like that. We'll go back into it and we'll pull through a purple yarn. And we essentially split our yarn there. And we'll do slip stitches in the front loops with our purple yarn and we'll continue the normal stitches with our lavender yarn. So with my lavender yarn, I'm working the back loops only and I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, maybe actually, 
No, yeah, we could do increases. Four. Five single crochets and then an increase. Again, we're only working in the back loops. And then we'll do that again. Five single crochets and then an increase. And then we'll switch over to our light purple. Oh, we got two forms. I think we only need one. And I, and I don't think we need it just yet. But thank you for putting in that effort, coffee and crochet. I, I appreciate that. Okay. So that'll be our round of increases. And then we'll switch over to our purple yarn and just do our round of slip stitches. Uh-oh. Almost pulled the yarn out. There we go. Oh, I did pull the yarn out. Rats. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. Oh. Wait, I goofed it. I'm supposed to go like this. Man, I wish I didn't pull that out, did I? Don't I? We'll go like this. I think it's like this is what we're looking for to get back to the position we were in. That maybe and then we'll pull this tail end through I'm trying to just get us set up to be where we were before I, before I messed everything up I think it's like this there we go okay let's pretend I didn't mess that up hold this turn down okay now we're just gonna do slip stitches in the front loops only that we skipped Let's see how that looks. One. Because then we'll have a little bit of like. Just just some addition, additional design. I guess we could have done it in like a, another color. Other than this purple. But that's okay. Oh this is interesting. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, let's just take a look at that real quick. That's interesting. I didn't expect the purple to the lavender on the bottom to do that cool little stitch thing. I, I like it though. You know? I like the three-dimensional aspect of this stripe, too. It's nice. It's good. I like it. Okay, Takayaki, thanks for joining. And there we go. Do that. So that was my last slip stitch, and then I'm just gonna cut and then hide this end. We'll crochet around it for our next round. So I think I'm just gonna go. Oh, this is a song from Ocarina of Time, I think. Actually, we might be looping the music right now. Let me see. Yeah, it is looping. Here, let's go to the last one. Okay. There we go. Hide that end in there. All right, now we got a little stripe. Right? So, see how we're... Thumbs up. Rock is going great. And we'll just keep going down. Start to... I think we need to get to about 18 stitches around before we start to be comfortable with the width of our round. Now, the next thing we need to look out for is we'll need to add a... We'll need to add a window in a little bit. And I think we can just add that window using a bobble stitch. 
if we can line it up right. So that's my goal, to do just a bobble stitch for our first little window. See, there's one little window and then one big window. So I think if we can do a bobble stitch for our first window, we'll be in a good position. Make things a little easier for us. And then we'll use mini bobble stitches for the bottom windows. I'm trying to get under all of these stitches here. There we go. Okay. Now we're on a round of just single crochets. our increase or our bobble stitch actually our bobble stitch would be really good like right here huh that's too close though increases and then a bobble stitch maybe yeah we'll try that that was unnecessary cold-blooded <laughs> adventures <laughs> agreed Okay, so we are on, let's see, what round were we, did we just do? It was a round of all single crochets. Let's let's just recap here. We did single, uh, four, and then one, two, five, six, and then seven was that one, eight would be that, and nine would be, so we just finished round nine. Now that's not bad. Give it a little bit more space there, stretch it out. These are going to go down here. This rocket ship's going to be big, but it'll be cool. That'll be cool. One, two. Okay, so now let's see. Do we want to put a window now? Have we gone far enough down for a window? Yeah, I think we can do a window now. Okay, so I'll do the window like... Actually, maybe we'll do, maybe we'll slow down our increases a little bit. Well, I think we have 14 stitches around, but let's count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, 14 stitches around. So we're going up to at least 18. So, so that's four more rounds of increases. I guess we pretty, we really should continue our increases then. Um, okay, so. Hmm, how do we want to do this? Two, three, and then do an increase? Yeah, okay, so that's what we'll do. We're gonna move our increase over a little bit. So we're gonna do one, two, three single crochets, and then an increase. Which hopefully won't wonk everything up too bad. And then do our one, two, and then we'll do a window there. Okay. Let's do a glow in the dark window. Using our white yarn. That. Imi, hello, welcome. Addy, is it hard to make patterns? Um, no, I mean, sometimes. Depends on the pattern, I guess. Uh, I'm having fun with this one. I'm just kind of like, I'm just kind of ad-libbing this one. Uh, sometimes I have more of a plan than this. Now I'm gonna do a full-on bobble stitch for our window here and see how that goes. And if I don't like it, I'll go back and undo that. Actually, I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good, I like it. Right, it's looking, it's actually looking not bad. And then, because then we'll do a bigger window here. And then we'll do two littler windows down here. Actually, we might not even make those little bobbles under that bigger window. We, we might make those not windows. Maybe we'll make them like just decoration or something. Okay. 
And then I think one, two, and then I think we could do our other increase right here. One, two, three, four. So I'm trying to see where would be the best place to put their second. You know what? We can do one here. We'll do an increase here. Okay. And then we'll do the rest of our single crochets. Okay. All right, future Lewis. Here is the round that we just did. We did round. Okay, so we did round one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we did round seven and we did it on like seven A and seven B. Then we did round eight. Round nine, so we just did round 10, and for round 10, the round was to do one, two, three single crochets and increase, and then two single crochets, and then a bobble stitch in white, and then two single crochets, and then an increase, and then one, two, three, four more single crochets. That was, that was that round. That was that round. Jazz is Jessica, thank you. Thank you. Love the purple, thanks. It was, it was the chat's idea. So now we're going to do, we're just going to keep going actually, because the next part we're going to need is to, well, we'll also need to start thinking about where we're going to add these rockets or these fins. I kind of wish these fins were a little bit longer, like more like that, but whatever. That's okay. That's okay. All right, this next round is just single crochet. So that's easy, easy squeezy. And again, if you like this video, please like it down below. Subscribe to the channel. We do a bunch of patterns just like this if you're not already subscribed. And regardless, thanks so much for joining. Okay, so we got, let's see, we were talking, we were talking about the Olympics. I'm really excited about ping pong. I really like to watch ping pong. So hopefully I can check that out tonight. Uh, skateboarding, like I said, was awesome. If you didn't watch the skateboarding Olympics, go check out the replay, like go watch it. It was really cool. It was really exciting. Um, there were some bummer parts of it where people like didn't land the tricks that they wanted to and stuff. But for the most part, it was really cool and exciting. I think maybe we should just do another round of single crochets. Because I want these like all the way down here when it goes back to. Yeah. 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 So we'll do a round of single, two rounds of single crochets here. We'll, we'll, we'll slow down our increases a little bit. Because I don't want to increase too fast anymore. Cold-blooded adventures. How is, how is Tango the Toucan and Porky? Oh, you named it Porky the Parrot. They're doing great. They're right here. You want to say hi? Here's Tango. Here's your friend Tango the Toucan. He's been doing great. Uh, catching a lot of. Um, the bugs? I don't really know. I guess toucans probably eat nuts or something, right? Or fruit? I'm not sure. Did you know that toucans are a, are a variation of the woodpecker? Woodpeckers and toucans are related? I mean, I guess that's not that surprising because they're both birds, but I was a little bit surprised about that. Gymnastics, swimming, and softball because you're a softball player. That's what Lumi Lago says. <laughs> it does look like a fancy wizard's hat right now. <laughs> totally. Totally. All right, so now we are back on to increasing rounds. Yeah, archery definitely is a really cool sport, Rebecca. I think that's very neat. Um, my dad is really big into archery also. I wonder if you watched any of that. Okay, so now I'm on to our next round. We're gonna do an increase here. 
and then an increase at the end. So we're back up to increasing twice in the round. If you're following along. Actually, I think, you know what, that technically, well, whatever, we'll just do, we'll do one here. Okay. I think that would be 16 stitches around. I think we only need one more round of increasing. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh wait, no, that was 18 stitches around. Cool, then that's as, that's as wide as we need to get it. So we can just start going single crochets down now. And then we can pull it in at the very end so we can still get our rocket ship, or our, our, our thruster rocket parts. Caitlin, welcome back. Welcome back, Kaitlin. What? I always have talking like this. I don't know what you're talking about. When I was a kid, I uh, did archery um, with a compound bow. And because my dad was a hunter, he, he hunted with a bow, which I always thought was kind of cool. At least it was cooler than hunting with a gun. I don't, I'm not really into hunting with guns. Um, I'm not really into hunting in general, to be honest. But if you're going to hunt, a bow is at least kind of cool. And I that was where I learned that I actually had poor eyesight was because of archery. And that is where I learned that I am left eye dominant, even though I'm right handed. So I'm not right eye dominant. I found out because, you know, if you hold your hands out like with a little hole like that, and then you hold them, your arms out straight like that, and you look through whatever eye you're looking with right now, if you close your eyes, see, you can see my, all right? You can see my left eye, but you can't see my right eye. It's because I'm left eye dominant. It's what you look through. That's how you find out what eye dominant you are. And I always thought that was really weird that I'm left eye dominant, even though I'm right handed. Yes, I went hunting and I hated it. I didn't get any, I didn't kill anything because I couldn't see anything and I didn't want to. And I was got butt by bugs the whole time. It was not very fun. I did not like it. That was when I was a kid. Oh, Zoe likes the ribbon twirling. That is a cool, that is a very unique um, uh, sport at the Olympics. Do they still do synchronized swimming? Because that would be pretty fun to watch. I'd like to watch that. I wonder if they still do that. Okay, so where are we at in our rounds? Let's go ahead and finish this round real quick. Right there. So we just did, I think we just did two rounds of single crochets, which is totally fine. We're gonna do the fins about down here. So we got a few more rounds and then we can start decreasing subtly. Right, and then we'll put a window right here and we'll do some design there. So actually let's go ahead and put this to the side for a second and let's crochet our big window for it. So the big window, I'm actually just gonna pull straight from the rocket pattern. Um, and instead of using blue, we're gonna be using our glow in the dark white. There we go. And we'll use our gray yarn for the edge of the window. Oopsies. Fix that. There we go. 
Okay, so we one, two, three, four, five, six. Pull it tighter, and we'll increase up. Yeah, so I'm just pulling this straight from the uh, the rocket pattern. You can find that at clubcrochet.com slash rocket. I'm just doing the uh, the window from that pattern right now. Ooh, my foot is asleep. I was just sitting on it a bunch. Okay, and then now we need to change to our gray yarn. I think gray is a good idea. Change to gray. Gonna cut this yarn, because I think this is, yeah, that's good. That's good, that's good. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm just making sure I have everything right. I'm just cut our glow in the dark yarn to the side. It's funny how this makes it go so like indented. You know, it makes the makes the window really stick out when you do this round of slip stitches on the outside. Like that. And I guess I'll Do I need to slip? No, I guess I don't. I'll just go ahead and cut it. Like this. Let's see how this, let's see how this looks. We'll do a hidden end just to play it safe. Wake up, foot. Wake up. There, I don't think it worked. It's like me, it doesn't like to wake up on time. Which makes sense, because it is attached to me. Okay. So we got our window. Let's turn it a little tighter. This will go right here. Oh yeah, that looks that'll look cool. That'll look cool. Okay, so we can still do like two or three more rounds of single actually I think two more rounds of single crochets and then we can kind of bring it in subtly. Now we want the end of the rocket to end at nine stitches around. Okay. Okay. So we just need two more rounds of single crochets here. And then yeah, we're we're doing great actually. This is this is going the this is going pretty well. I like I like what we're making here. Nice simple little uh, rocket ship. I mean it's not that simple, but it gives you an idea of how to join in on this club crochet challenge and how it's not its not that tough. You just need to draw a rocket ship and crochet one. You can choose the colors and choose the design. You can alter it slightly. Really just freestyle it. I'm really hoping I get to see some cool rocket ships uh, for this. You got one more week to submit a picture of a spaceship. You can also use the UFO as your base of your design too if you would like to make more of a alien ship rather than a like rocket ship. Or you can make something up completely from scratch. You want to make the uh, SS Enterprise or um, yeah someone made the Pikmin uh, SS Dolphin which is from the uh, video game Pikmin and submitted that. I really liked that. I thought that was a really cool one. Okay, so this was two rounds of single crochets. Let's see how we're doing there. Yeah, 
Okay, I think we can just... I think we can go ahead and sew this on now, then. Because our next round, I think we want to add little bobble stitches and stuff for design. Actually, maybe, maybe we'll decrease in the next round, and then the round after that, we'll do our bobble stitches. So let's go ahead and mess about with this sewing this window on, and then we can try our other stuff. I'm going to go ahead and double knot this inside white yarn and gray yarn together just so that I make sure they don't come apart and I can cut them close because we don't really want to use them. Yes, you can absolutely make a TARDIS. If that's what you'd like to submit, you can tr give it a shot. TARDIS is hard though. I have tried to crochet a few TARDISes and they are not easy. Crocheting a square in general is much more difficult, in my opinion, than making a, um, something, like, round. Okay, so I'm going to thread the middle of our pocket first, or our window first, and put it where we want it to be. Okay, so I think we want the center to be, like, right there. Cool. Very cool. Right? <laughs> this rocket ship's gonna be cool. Okay. All right, now I'm just kind of freestyling, sewing this onto the side here. See how it goes. Hundred stitch freestyle. That's what they call it in the Olympics. <laughs> there should be an Olympic. There should be a crafts Olympics. Someone should do that. We should do that. Arts and crafts, but it's all Olympics. There's a painting section and a and a, a sculptor section. That'd be really cool, actually. <laughs> okay, so we got one, two, three, four more. We want to end. We want to end like right here. Perfect. We are doing great. I'm just freestyling, and it's great. Everything's coming up Millhouse. <laughs> oh, Rebecca gave up on crocheting today. Well, that's okay. Some days you just need to do that. Sometimes you you need to give yourself a crochet break. If it ain't working out, it ain't working out. Don't force it. Sometimes you just gotta switch everything up. That's okay. Right? Craft Olympics would be super cool. Make a sweater. And that's like a long thing. That's like a you got like 18 hours to make a sweater. So it's like, it's like I'm um, doing, you know, like the, like, like cross country. It's like cross country. I gotta say cross country is, I don't like that for the Olympics. I do not like watching cross country or the long bikes where they bike for like ever. Like good on them, but I don't like watching it. <laughs> okay, so we got our window on. Let's go ahead and double knot that. Okay. 
Okay. And these are going to go right here. So that's why I want to decrease it down just a little bit for this next round and then do a round of single crochets because I, if I can get this inside, okay, so here's some design. Here's some design thought. If you're in the middle of designing and you're thinking like, oh, this is how I think. Um, so if I just keep doing single crochet rounds, it's just going to keep going straight down, you know, like a, just a straight line. But if I can go decrease it down just subtly, then I can make it pull in the way that this way is coming out. I can make it come back in a little bit. And if I have it go in slightly, then when I sew on ugh, these, instead of them being sewn on straight like that, They'll be sewn on slightly in like that and it'll make our rocket stand up just a little bit just a little bit see how that has a little curve to it so that's the kind of curve that we want to replicate in our rounds and I think I can replicate that if I decrease down just slowly we want to decrease back down to from 18 down to uh, uh, 9 eventually so maybe if we can decrease down 5 or if we can decrease down from 18 to 15, it'll do a subtle decrease and then we can control it a little bit better, you know? That's what I'm thinking. So we'll do, so to do that, I'm gonna do five, I'm gonna do four single crochets and then a decrease. So one, two, four, and then a decrease. And then in the round after this, we'll do bobble stitches intermittently. Four, and then a decrease. Yeah, and then we'll do maybe two rounds actually of single crochets. I'm not sure yet. We'll see where it goes after this. One, two, three. Four, and then this will be the end. Five. Okay, so we're decreasing down just a little bit. And then we'll just do single crochet rounds. And this next round we want to do... Yeah, like that, see? See? It's pretty close to it. Okay, so we want to do two bobble stitches on the around this on the, on either side of these stitches right here. So one right here, one right here, and we want the bobble stitches to be um, in a different color. So why don't we do a new color outside of these purples? Um, something that gives us a little bit of flavor. So I'm thinking either hot pink or this like purple. Now this is too close to the purple. So either hot pink, see what light pink looks like. No, I don't like light pink either. Um, gold, let's see what gold would look. No, I don't like gold either. Um, turquoise? Turquoise is not bad. Okay, here's your options. I need your guys' advice. I need your advice. We're doing bobble stitches. Just some little bobble stitches down here for some added style. Pink, hot pink, or turquoise? Hot pink, turquoise. Let me know in the comments. And I'm going to have a sip of water while you guys are making that kind of decision. So I don't have to make that kind of decision. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna crack my back too. Ready? Oh, that was good. Let's see, can I get my neck? Ooh. Nova, Nova says turquoise. Ooh. Okay, three turquoise, one pink, four turquoise, one pink. I think it's gonna be turquoise then. Grab this smaller ball of turquoise yarn so I don't have to use this whole big one. Yeah. Okay, cool. Turquoise it is. Sounds good to me, guys. I'm cool with that. 
Now, it would be really cool if I could get turquoise ones on this side and then there too. So, we've got 15 stitches and we want to place our bobble stitches within the 3-5. So, it'll be... And then one, two. Okay. So if those two be bobbles, that'll be a bobble too. And that'll be a bobble. And then one, two. And then that last one will be a bobble. So we'll do two single crochets and we'll start doing our bobbles. Let's I'm gonna try to put a bunch of them in it and see if we can fit our The goal the goal is we wanna fit our um Fit our fins around the bobble stitches. And then bobble. So let's try this. We'll try one mini bobble. Actually, maybe we'll even try like that small. No, we'll try mini bobble. That. Switch. One. And do another one. Ooh, I'm very curious to see if this is gonna work out for us. Math, math wise, I, it, I think on paper this makes sense in my brain, but we will see if it works in reality. And then. All right. What's a bobble stitch? Sarah doesn't know what a bobble stitch is. A bobble stitch is basically like four double crochets put together. I actually have a whole tutorial for it. If you want to check it out, um, it's at clubcrochet.com slash bobble. And it teaches you everything that you need to know about a bobble stitch. Not only to teach you how to make them, but it also teaches you like all the parts to them. So if you want to like customize your bobble stitches, I put a lot of work into it actually. So we're thinking like this, so that these fit in between that. Can we sew this in between each of these bobble stitches? I'm wondering. That's what we're wondering. I think we can though. I'm just not sure if it'll add to it or take away from it because there's so many bobble stitches in this round. But we will find out in a second. I mean, I got it lined up right. that because we'll have the little rocket thing at the end okay yeah we'll keep going we'll keep going sorry I'm overthinking it <laughs> I took you like a month to Yeah, I need to do more tutorial. I need to like flip my tutorials more for for left-handed, for left-handed people. My dad's a lefty too. Okay, this will be the end of our bobble stitches. 
Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. So it'll go like one here. Oopsies. One here. Where's my pins? Let's try these pins. To help us visualize this a little bit more. One will be like that. One will be like that. And then we'll have one on the back. And there'll be bobble stitches between each of the fins. It'll look like they're like the fuel pods or something for the for the rocket, maybe. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think this is good, guys. I think we're on a I think we're I think we got something cool going on here. We'll do another rounds of single crochets. And then we'll switch it to a decrease round. And then Yeah. We're we're almost done though. Sewing the sewing the fins on is gonna be a little bit different, but And thank you for joining in this strangely different live stream. I hope you guys like it. Please let me know what you think about this live stream, uh, about doing like this freestyle, not like a pattern, but kind of a design thing going on. Um, I thought it might be kind of cool, gets you in my head a little bit to see how I design my pieces a little bit more. That's what I was kind of thinking, but let me know. Does it Does it come off that way? Is it working? Or should I stick to doing just patterns? Okay. That round. Right, yeah, so we decrease down one more time, a little bit. And then maybe one more sing round of single crochets, then we decrease down to the nine, and then we do the little rocket fuel thing right there. And then we stuff it up and sew it together. Actually, we can start stuffing it a little bit right now. It might actually help us visualize it a little bit more if I add a little bit of stuffing in. Design streams are fun. Cool. I'm glad. That makes me happy. So we got to fill it up with our stuffing fuel right now. Yeah, cool. All right, let's go ahead and we'll do another round and we're gonna, I'm gonna decrease down now. So the last round I did four, or I did four single crochets and then a decrease. So this, that from my last decreasing round. So this round I'm gonna do three single crochets and then a decrease. So we're trying to go down from 15 to, to 12. And my idea there is that I'm trying to decrease it down evenly because the last round that we want, we want to get down to nine stitches. Uh, and that is because in the rocket ship pattern, in this pattern, these, this, this bottom little fuel, uh, like th thruster thing is all in nine stitches. And I want to do this for this pattern also. So I know I need to get down to nine stitches, which is a little bit of an awkward number because I was going down from 18 stitches. So to get down from to nine stitches, I know I need it to be a multiple of three. So therefore I'm decreasing down by uh, three stitches each time to get to there. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. I don't know. Ah. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so that'll be decreasing down. We have 12 stitches now. It might even be worth it just to decrease straight down. So these on right here. Yeah, actually, I'm thinking maybe we even just decrease down right now and then do our throttle. So instead of, I was gonna do a round of single crochets, which would bring it down to there and then do our little rocket ship part. But I think it'd be fun if it like, 
kind of flattened out a little bit more. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to stuff it just a little bit more to get some more uh, like shape to our rocket. Like that. Theana's like, Theana, you're like, you're cool. You're doing, you're doing fine. It, it, it does make sense. Don't worry. <laughs> it makes sense. Okay. If you say so. And then we'll put this in between. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to try sewing this on right now then. Let's try sewing on before I decrease it too much where I can't even get my finger into the bottom of the rocket because that might make it a little bit difficult to sew this on. So let's go ahead and just try sewing this on right now. Now, I know it's going to be sewn on like... Boop, boop, boop. So we'll go like right here. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's too high up. Right there. Yeah, and we want it to be sewn on flat. I don't think we actually need any pipe cleaners in this. I thought we might have, but I don't think we do. I also have an idea for how to add some texture to these to the to the fins too, which might be kind of cool. I'll show you that in a sec. But first, let's try just sewing one of these guys on here. go let's try like that I don't want to get too close to these bobble stitches if I can avoid it but I don't know if I can there's not very much room to work with here because the other ones yeah okay I'll try it Oh wait, you know what? Okay, I, I got an idea. I got an idea to make to make sewing these on a little bit more uniform. What I think we can try doing is counting the stitches and making sure that we have the right stitches on our on our like the body of our rocket to make this sewn on in the right place. So let's count our stitches first. Where this one is the first one. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, technically, with this one. Okay, so that's. So in the body, we've got one, two. We can go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, that would work. So one, two, three, four. Oh, wait. One, two, three. Four, five, six. No, wait. One, one, two. No, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's just let's just start doing it. Let's see how it goes. We're gonna play it by ear. I think we got it, but I might have miscounted wrong. Um, Addy asks, uh, on the flamingo kit, we're supposed to crochet. Fl Florence or the burb? You can make either one. Uh, the point of the kit was to be able to make either one. I think, um, you know, make make a, try making Florence. Try making Florence and let me know how that goes. But the idea was to make either, either flamingo. She's talking about last month's pro kit, by the way. Nice hat and the octopus pattern on the site. Yes, Alice, they are. 
The octopus pattern is at clubcrochet.com slash octopus. Uh, and the sailor hat pattern uh, should be on the website as well. Um, I think I need to make its own tutorial, but you can find it on the um, Gulliver pattern too on the website. That is what it's from. Okay. Okay, how many stitches more? One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, What if we go like this? I got an idea. Up there. Like this. One, two, and then go back down through the stitches at the bottom of it. Sorry I'm being so quiet here. Just, you know how it is when it comes to sewing things together. It, it takes more focus. More noggin power is, is what they, they call it, I think. I think that's the technical term. More noggin juice. I think that's what it's called. When the technical term that um, scientists say is um, when you're when you're trying to say that I need to focus, uh, it, it requires noggin juice, more noggin juice. So, just so you know, I mean for you know, all you science buffs out there, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's really neat. That's great. Look at that. And then, oh man, that's, that's super cool. This is a rocket ship for sure. Okay. Freaking awesome. From the inside there. Okay. Sunshine, there is actually, I think if you just go to clubcrochet.com slash hats, um, it has all the hats on the website. And that includes like full size hats and miniature hats as well. So I think that's on the site already. Just make sure the stuffing's where we want it to be. That is pretty killer placement though. And the fact that these, these windows are glow in the dark are you kidding me? Are you joking? Okay, let's do another sewn on one right there. Like this. And then the last one will be right here on the back. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're making something incredible. It's amazing even. And what I th the way I think I set this up is it should be about the same stitches for each of the rock, for each of these fins should be sewn on in the same spots. So it should be pretty easy for me to sew all of them on together. Like, so that they look the same. So it goes one, two, three, and then up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Everybody, everybody needs to be aware. I am a genius. Certifiable. Okay. The truth is I'm certifiably insane. Insane in the membrane. 
What is that? I got no brain. <laughs> About sweat, and they called it human, human juice. That's what they call it. I'll take two vials of human juice, please. Coming right up. Would you like that iced or hot? <laughs> hot human juice. <laughs> Ew. Gross. Sweat. Uh, mad Ultraman flashback. I don't know what that means. Oh, yeah, you know what? Great idea, Melbell. Hey, name suggestions. Name suggestions. If you got an idea for names, here's what you do. All you got to do to suggest a name for this rocket ship is Melbell's going to put a comment in the chat. You got to click that comment because it's a link. And then in that link, you can suggest a name for a rocket ship today. So suggest a name for the rocket ship that we're making right now. Uh, and yeah, we'll figure it out. I think it's probably gonna be like, we'll choose, I'll choose my favorites and do a vote on it maybe. I don't know. Actually, I think it's supposed to go up there. So if you got an idea, it legitimately, it could be anything. I, I think like maybe the SS something would be fun or the, I don't really know what SS, what does SS stand for in for a spaceship? Oh, spaceship. Maybe it stands for spaceship. <laughs> Probably not. Maybe though. The, the, think the, whatever the name is, it's the blank for your, for the name of the spaceship. Any suggestions are worthwhile. Provide them. Give me your name suggestions. Or so help me glob. This music's so epic. Oh my god. That's rocket. And look, it's so much bigger than the other rocket. Which I think we all kind of expected. Okay. So we've got how many stitches left? Oh, two. Okay, cool. And then I can sew on the last of the fins. Guys, we are. I'm flying today. I'm flying. This is so much fun. I gotta do more of these. Okay, so here's, I got an idea, guys. I got an idea. What if we started doing, because I've been trying to experiment on different days for live streams, and I, you know how I am. I also really like coming up with fun, I, fun names for streams and stuff. So what if we did Freestyle Fridays, where it was like this. It was a design, and we did the design together. Could be fun. Could be fun, could be fun. Oh, and it's gonna stand up. With a third one, it'll stand up, guys. It'll stand up itself. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I wanna do some kind of stylizing with these fins though too. Like maybe do a turquoise like string that goes from the top to the bottom there. So it'll be like, that'll be pretty cool. That might be pretty cool. Or like lines, like, you know, you know, like lines, like the SS Burb. <laughs> That's a great name. SS Burb. Addy, Addy. 
This does look like a spaceship that the Lumpy Space Princess would ride in. Oh my glob. Oh my glob. Ben! Oh my god. Oh my glob. One, two. So I can do this one. Okay. Like that. Like that. Yep. Freestyle Fridays. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Everybody's digging the Freestyle Fridays. Cool. Cool, cool. I will start putting effort into that. Um, I think I'm supposed to actually... Well, I guess I can sew it on. There. I'm a, I'm a little worried about... Being able to get into these stitches later for my crochet stitches. I mean, I can do it. I can do it. Come on, you kidding me? I can do it. Come on, you joking? Who you, who you kidding? I can do this. All right. Okay. And if you are watching this video way later, I think I'm gonna put, I think this pattern is cool enough. I think I might put this on the website and just use this as the video tutorial for it. I mean, it's not really a video tutorial, but you know, it's better than nothing. Well, it does it. Is this the, am I doing this, am I starting this on too low? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Okay. This one might be a little complicated because it's in, it's in a, like a different row. But let's see here. Undo that. So instead, we'll go this way. We're mixing things up. Addy says that they would totally make this on the site. Who else agrees with Addy? If I put this on the website, would you make it? Bing, bing. I remember, I know this song. This is the waiting song for the Wii, I'm pretty sure. Sunshine would make it. Rebecca would make it. Cool. Mackenzie! Hello, peeps. How you doing, Mackenzie? What are you up to? How's your day going? Hope you're having a great day. Okay, guys. Mel Bell just posted in the chat again. Um, we are looking for a name for today's rocket. If you would like to submit a suggestion for the name, I will I will choose a few of my favorites and we'll vote on them. Um, you can put the your suggested names in the form that Melbell just posted there, um, and maybe I'll go ahead and put that in the description as well for people, just in case. Just in case. Wait, am I, did I? No, no, we're, we're all right. No, no, it's okay, it's all right, we're all right. Da, da, 
Gosh, it's it stands up guys it stands up on its own oh my gosh what a great what a beautiful great rocket this is we you know okay so you know what's great about this about uh crocheting rockets or, or one of the reasons why i decided to do this rocket live stream is because we saw all these billionaires with their own rockets and they're like oh i'm rich i'm going to space with my rocket well you know what i was like i was like you know what that's not fair that's not fair that you need a billion dollars to make a rocket i say we crochet our own rockets and we go to space without billionaires ha 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 you don't need millions of dollars you just need yarn and an imagination and billion a billion dollar a billion dollars is bet is probably better Sure, probably easier, but. Dude, Cooperlicious, thank you, that's perfect, yes. Write down this pattern, send it to me after the stream, it'll make it a lot easier for me. Thank you, Cooperlicious. That is such a good idea. Dude, thank you, seriously, that is awesome. That is very cool of you. Okay, so we got a rocket, like, pretty much made there. Let's, let's try adding that turquoise. Ow, ow, I hit my head. Let's try adding some turquoise, um, uh, uh, ooh, or glow in the, actually, no, 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 no. What was I thinking? Turquoise? When we could do glow in the dark, glow in the dark, either, either around the outside of these, like that, so it goes like, boop, 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 or a line down the side of it. You know what we should do? We should do ones like that because we have that. Let's try that. Let's try it. Let's try it. I'm saying a lot of that. As if you guys are understanding me. So I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say. Let's try it and see what happens. And this way it'll glow in the dark. Oh, it'd be so cool. It'd be so cool. Okay. I'm going to start by going in the inside here. And coming out of the back of it like that. And we'll go, we'll go like once. So here's what I'm thinking. So it'll go like that. I'll go back in and then I'll come back out and then come back out like that. Is that too much? Okay, so those are our options. We can either do like that, like a da -da 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 -da, or, or we can instead try from there down to there. So it's like a string. Let's try the string. Let's see what that would look like. We'll come out of right, right at the very tippity top of that rocket, like right, come on. So, listen to me, I'm trying to tell you what I want you to do, Diesel. Right there. What do you guys think? Which, which one of these ideas is better for you? Because this might be kind of cool if it goes like straight down like that. And then I just like go up the side of it to keep it in place. Oh, that's really cool actually. Let's try that. Let's try it. See what happens. Zoe thinks that the streak, the way what we're doing right now is, is what Zoe wants, which is cool. I just think the fact that it's going to be glow in the dark is going to be so cool for it too, you know? Let's see. Let's see if it looks right though. So we'll keep doing. And then we'll go up two rounds. And we'll go up one, two. Perfect. Okay.
like this maybe? Yeah, and then we just go back on the inside and we can double knot it. How's that look? I might, I mean, I might undo it all, but I don't think so. Do we like that? Or does it, is it just maybe just a little too much? Maybe that's just a little too much for us, actually. Now that I think about it. Because, it, I mean, it's cool. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I can't decide. What do you think? Do you think that's cool or do you think we should get rid of it? I kind of think I, I'm starting to think I should not do it. Because, I mean, it is cool. I'm just afraid it's not going to be, like, the same for each one. And it'll just make it be, like, a little bit awkward. But maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just scaring myself. I pull in a little bit more. Pull that in like that. Just let it go straight. I can't decide. You're, oh, so you're saying just like a line right there? In addition? Yeah, I agree. I think it'd be really cool glow in the dark, though. Okay, Sarah. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I can cut them off. Okay, let's go ahead. I'll I'll double knot this. If we don't like it, we can remove it in a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so we'll double knot this like that. If we don't like it, we can remove it in a little bit and we'll see how it looks on all of them and then we'll and then we will make our decision. I got to find that I have a uh black light somewhere to make these to make the glow in the dark work really well so we can try it out at the end of the live stream too. That should be which will be pretty cool. Yeah, cuz we can remove this at any time. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try it on this wing now. Or this uh, fin, or whatever you wanna call it. Down, and then, yeah, like that. Two rounds up, right to like there. And then back on the inside. Okay. And then I pull this one a little tighter. We can loosen all that up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and straighten everything up. Just a little bit tighter just to make sure. Well, what do we think? We got two so far. What do we think? I don't know if I like them. God, I just can't decide, though. I just don't know if I do, though, because it just looks a little messy. It just doesn't look as, like, clean of a line as I want it to be. 
because it kind of pulls in on the right side. Yeah. Sunshine says put flames under it. I just think we're maybe getting in a little bit too detailed. Yeah. Theana, Theana, you're you're echoing my thoughts. I'm going to get rid of them. I don't like them. I give up. I don't like it. I don't want it anymore. How did that, how did that happen? Okay. We're undoing it. Hopefully we don't ruin our whole thing. I'm doing this though. Okay, I did not want to undo. Okay. Glow in the dark for flames. That could work out. That could work out. Oh, what we've got to do first is clean up our mistake. Clean up all this extra fuzz. Get that out of there. Oh boy, we're pulling all the fuzz out. Get the other way around then. Okay. Worth a shot. It was worth a shot. I've solved our mistake. Hello, Frogo! How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Okay, so we're going to decrease it down now and do that other thing, and then maybe we'll add more detail um, later, but we'll start by just doing what... Yeah, 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 you get it. You get what we're trying to sharp. Harsh, 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 harsh. We're gonna go down to, from 12 to nine stitches. So we're gonna do two and then a decrease. And we're gonna change to gray for our little rocket ship thrusters. So two single crochets and then invisible decrease. We'll stick with invisible decreases still. Two single crochets. Two decrease. Okay, and then one more. Two single crochets and then decrease, but we need to grab our gray yarn. One, two, because we're gonna change to gray after this last invisible decrease, and then we'll do our thruster. Okay. One. Oh, let's get rid of these pins now, too. We don't need them there. Oh, Emily's, Emily's, uh, uh, dragon fell. So we need to fix that. Okay. Boom. Get our gray yarn. And then the thruster is going to just be the exact same as the rocket pattern. We're going to change to gray and then we'll work in the front loops and just do a slip stitch in each like that we'll cut our purple yarn or lavender yarn there's already purple pull that out just a little bit and then i'm just going to go ahead and stuff this right now with this gray and this purple just to get them out of our way as we do our last bit and we add our thruster on there so we can get a little bit of extra oomph when we try to shoot off into space. Hang out with some aliens.
Oops. Okay, so I did front loops only. I'm slip stitching only in the front loops for this round, and then I'm gonna slip stitch only in the back loops for our next round. Round. There we go. Well, we'll still have to stuff it up a little bit. We're gonna do one more, well, yeah, we'll do one more round of this, of the thruster here to give it just a little bit more oomph there. And then I think we'll call it. And you know what? Honestly, compared to the drawing, not bad, not bad at all. Hey, if you haven't yet, please like this video. Give it a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, obviously. And yeah. I think, you know, you know, this is this is my opportunity. I only get so many times to say it. But please subscribe, please like this video. Please, oh gosh, please. Oh gee whiz. Three. Or almost done. Five. Six. Three more. Seven. Oh. I'm having a hard time getting in this next one. There we go. Eight. Thank you, Maya. Or Mia. There we go. There. Yeah, it gives us more of like a little bit of a something to work off of there. Cut the yarn. I'm going to do a hidden end and then stuff it up a little bit more. And then maybe we can, let's, we'll see what, we'll see, we'll see after that. We might add more detail, but we might like it. Maybe we can add, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna need to add anything after this. All right. The fact that it stands up on its own is so cool to me. It's so cool to me. Okay, let's go ahead and try stuffing it a little bit here. All right. Let's see. Do we want any more stuffing than that? I mean, it's pretty, pretty loose. Yeah, maybe we could add just a little bit more stuffing. So let me grab just a tiny itty of, the ittiest bitty of just amount of more, this much more. We can leave some of it sticking out of it also, actually. Like it's still smoking. It's kind of cool, actually. I like that. All right, cool. 
Do we like the smoke? I think so. Even if it's just like that much. Just enough. Is that right? Yeah, cool, cool, cool. All right, dudes. I think that's I think that's it. I think we got our rocket today. And you know what? That was pretty cool, if you ask me. So this is a great example of a submission for the rocket challenge. So if you would like to submit your own rocket ship for the rocket challenge, all you got, I have all the details available right here at clubcrochet.com slash rocket. It doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be as like, um, uh, like specifically a brand new pattern. It doesn't need to, it's whatever you want it to be. You can use this club, this rocket pattern that you can find at clubcrochet.com slash rocket as the base of the pattern. And then you can add upon it. You could just change the colors of it. You could do uh, something completely different. You could use this, um, the UFO and alien pattern instead. Here's the UFO alien pattern, which is also available. You can find this one at clubcrochet.com slash UFO. It's free for a little bit more. Um, I will show you the glow in a sec. Um, uh, da, da, da. Uh, but yeah, you can you can use that. Um, really, whatever you want. I'd love to see your guys' submissions for rocket ships. Uh, you can learn more again at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Uh, let's see. Did I do everything? Did I did I explain that well enough? Does anybody have any questions at all about the challenge or about like how to submit? Um, well, I let me explain. You can submit it on Reddit or on Discord. Again, all the details are in that link. Um, and uh, let's you know what? Let's do this real quick. See how this looks. Do we like that? Yeah. I actually, you know what, hold on. I have different colors of that. Let's see, maybe I have like a teal one. I do, cool. Let's do, let's do this or pink. We have pink or, oh, actually there's a purple. Let's do purple. Ow. Come on, come on. Okay. Actually teal's pretty good because we got the teal bobbles, so it kind of solidifies everything. We'll do that. Cool. Get in there. Cool. I like that. I like adding the little thing at the tip. That's fun. That's a fun addition. All right, yeah, so any other questions there? Got a box of UFOs. Oh, let's see it glow. Yes, let's see it glowing. First, I got to find. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Easy find. Okay. So, so this, these lights here, are they should be glow in the dark. So here's, here's the moment of truth. I don't know how well this is going to work with the lighting, but... We'll find out. I mean, it definitely glows, but you can't see it. Hold on. I turn just like that. Like that. You can kind of see it. It. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Let's turn the lights off too. Okay. Lights are all off. It's very dark in here. Can't, the, the, the color's not coming through right. Let's do, let's do that. Let's try that. Ready? Oh, yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it. It, it. It's not as good on the camera as it is in real life. And the longer I hold this to it, the more it's going to glow. Maybe if I do this even more so. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Glow in the dark. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, let me turn this. Let me turn these settings back. And I think we're there. Turn these lights back on. 
Oh, so bright. Oh yeah, the settings are not right. Jeebus. Okay, I think that's right. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. God, this is so cool. Oh, I wonder what names are suggested so far. What? So, so, uh, if you want, you can suggest a name. Uh, you know, I'm gonna put it in the description really quick too to give people like an option for after they're done watching this. That they can join, that they can still submit a name. I'll put it right here. Wait, I need a link. There it is. Okay, I put it in the top of the description too. So if you want to submit a name, use the link that Melbell just posted or the link at the top of the description. Uh, and you can submit a name for our rocket ship here. Uh, uh, I might add this to the Club Crochet library uh, if you're interested in that. Um, we'll definitely give, make sure to give this like, video a like, but also just like let me know, um, maybe comment on this video after like the live stream's over. Something like that to to make it more of a like, hey, please put this on the website. Um, cool. And yeah, let me know if you got any questions about the the Club Crochet Challenge. Um, you have until the end of the month to sign up for the Club Crochet Challenge. You can learn everything you want about it at this right there at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Um, you basically can crochet your own rocket ship and or, or spaceship in general. Uh, and maybe get it on in the Club Crochet library. We have no names yet submitted, so I might just choose my name, the name myself, if no one wants to submit a name, and that's okay with me too. Um, let's see, what else? Is there anything else that I am not thinking about? Oh, sign up uh, for a Club Crochet membership if you want to get a kit mailed to your door each like each month we do a new kit this month's kit is for a relic you have until the end of the month so this is the last live stream that i'm going to be talking about it uh sign up for a club crochet kit at clubcrochet.com slash kits or i think it might just be clubcrochet.com but if you upgrade your membership to a pro membership You'll get the kit this month with th all the things here. Um, it has some other additions on the top of it. So there's that. And... Yeah, I think that's everything. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great Sunday. And I'll see you guys... Um... Oh, no, you said that... Oh, you said we don't have many submissions. I thought you said you don't have any submissions. Yeah, we just don't have very many submissions yet for the name. But by the way, that's what we worked off of. It's pretty close. I mean, it's not exact, but like not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Cool. I'm going to go watch some Olympics and hang out and chill out on my Sunday and relax. And I hope you guys have fun and do the same. Thank you again to uh, to our Club Crochet um, tippers. Cooper, thank you so much. Emily, thank you so much. And Tina, thank you so much for tipping and, and donating to the live stream. I appreciate you. Um, the UFO and the rocket... Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm, I am just... I just don't want to go. You know how I do. Oh my gosh. No, you hang up. Stop. You're bad. Oh my gosh. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Okay, let's blast off. Ready? See, now we're in space.
I'm in space. I'm in a space. Flying through the space right now. Oh, there is a little pig. Hello, little pig. Okay, goodbye. He's a little space pig. Maybe we should follow. No, we'll, we will not follow him. Oh, watch out for this giant yarn ball. Aha, nice try. Close, but no cigar. No, you... Oh my gosh, stop it. You hang up. Okay, bye. 